The education minister is setting the record straight about reports of violence on school campuses. Cleopatra Murphy tells us that the minister refuted claims reported by another media house and had school administrators there to back him. I have made it a point that my number one priority is to ensure that our schools are safe and that there's order on our school campuses. Education Minister the Honorable Jerome Fitzgerald chastising a media house today for a misleading report on school violence that he says involved incidents three years old. He says the report of a stabbing at C.R. Walker Senior High School was false, explaining that a minor altercation occurred and the student involved was transferred to Program Sure. I have taken a zero tolerance policy to any sort of criminal activity or any violence towards teachers or students. I have made that position clear. I have even intervened to ensure that the swift justice occurs, particularly when there's violence against a teacher that comes to my attention or an administrator. The report also highlighted students coming to school in ankle bracelets. Fitzgerald says if a minor between 15 and 16 appears before the court and is ordered to wear an ankle bracelet, the school cannot bar them for an incident that occurred off campus. As for the recording of an incident with a teacher at R.M. Bailey School, that teacher is no longer with the ministry. Fitzgerald says the ministry reinstituted the school policing program in 2012 in its effort to curb school violence, and there has been a substantial reduction. Meantime, R.M. Bailey principal Colin Johnson was disappointed in that story that aired Tuesday night. I invite, like the minister would have said, any media to come to the Aaron Bailey Senior School and see what Aaron Bailey is all about. Aaron Bailey, I, I, I had promised that school that I would make that school a school of choice. And that school has passed to become a school of choice, the Aaron Bailey Senior School. Very, very disciplined school. CR Walker Principal Trevor McKay says she should have been contacted before the misleading report. I hate to hear the name of CR Walker being tarnished by what I call irresponsible journalism because there was nobody who called me to find out if an incident took place on CR Walker's campus. As our minister said, it was a minor incident and it was dealt with very, very quickly. In the meantime, the education minister also sought to set the record straight with the reporter who wrote the story. I want you to know that we within the Ministry of Education take extreme exception mm -hmm. to reports about incidents being of a serious nature, particularly when you talk about it and you show video of something that happened three years ago. We take serious obsession, the obsession and three years ago. offense to that. Cleopatra Murphy, ZNS Network News.